Hey guys, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBA. It's fun. This is actually part two of a quick series where we're doing on how to convert your Excel files into an EXE or a, a Windows executable program. If you missed part one, uh, click on the link on your screen right here. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and dive into the excerpt for part two, which is showing a technical live demonstration of how everything works and how it looks when it's protected and secured versus a regular old workbook. All right, here it is. It's what I call whenever we're actually going to dig in, get our hands dirty, and take a look at something new. So we're going to go ahead and show you this is a, an executable file, which actually has a, inside the shell of the EXE file, it actually has a uh, macro-enabled workbook that has superior protection. Where the protection comes from the executable, which is built in multiple languages. It has things from, uh, I think it's C Sharp and C++, and it has all these external uh, special things that do well beyond the capabilities of a regular Excel file. So it has all the abilities that, a, that an Excel file could have, but it also has extras. It has lots of extra features uh, that you can't get with Microsoft Excel. So it's the best of both worlds, and we're going to take a look at some of the things that you can do in your applications uh, very, very soon. So it's very exciting. So let's go ahead and double click on this demo file. This will be in your downloadable uh, files that you can check out here. So the first thing that you'll see is this is a EULA or an end user license agreement. You can display your own license agreement. So you could have uh, this can uh, take on uh, rich text. So that means you could have this be in blue and bold, or you could have other things that rich text document editors may have. So first thing is if you decide to have an EULA agreement, you can enforce them to they have to accept the terms because guess what I can't continue if I click cancel guess what it closes so I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this again now if I accept their EULA their license agreement then this beautiful splash screen uh, you can add your own splash screen and it looks like there's some transparency going on in the corners I've never tried one with rounded corners so that's pretty cool and then it says, do you want to load a recently saved copy of the secure Excel workbook? So this is one option that you can do. If you want to allow users to save a copy of their file, it saves it in a very special classification of a file type. It's not an XLSM, not an XLSB, uh, which is a binary macro enabled uh, file, but rather you, ha you have an XLSC or you can have a custom uh, dot whatever you want it to do. Maybe your company's uh, initials is PLR. Maybe you want it to be a .plrm file. Who knows? You can customize that in the advanced section. But anyway, so you can either uh, load the original, which is the one that was published, if you allow saving, that is, or you can let them choose a special encrypted file type, which your exe file can open once activated or you can click on the last save which is just the last one that they happen to save in this case we don't have any original so we're gonna click on or excuse me we don't have a save file an encrypted save file so I'm just gonna have to use the original alright so now that is opening and uh, I think it's opening Oop, it opened in my other window so let me drag that over here so here we are we have a quick demo thing here and in this case they left the abilities of of all these open so you can actually choose to hide the home insert all these tabs all these options are gone but you will notice when I click the file tab uh, a few things the only option they have is to, is to print or to save all these other things that are native to Excel have been disabled so you can't export you can't share you can't uh, you can't open a new file so that you can open VBA in that other file and then try to crack the code. You can't, you can't add a new file to this instance of Excel is protected in the shell of the executable of the pr protected secured workbook. So it's really cool. Another thing that we can show you here is um, you may notice that if you click on some of these formulas, it's uh, over here. For example, look at if you look at the average and if you look at the grade it says PL eval form D now that doesn't tell me a whole lot so if I try to click on there I yeah I can edit this formula it looks like it's pointing to cell N8 right next to it it's adjacent right and I can even hit enter oh great it works but how does it work this is not a count function this is some weird weird thing I don't I don't know how to do this 
That's the whole point. This is a demonstration of the formula uh, obfuscation or, or the, the formula protection that is built in as one of the features you can flick on you can choose whichever cells that you would like to turn on formula protection and that's what it looks like so instead of saying equals VLOOKUP of this thing in this table which it looks like it's doing a VLOOKUP by the way um, you know comma column 2 comma probably 1 for uh, not uh, exact right does this look like a VLOOKUP to you? No, it's crazy. So that's one of the features you can do. You can still have your VBA code to sort something uh, and it will work, but um, uh, they may not be able to necessarily act that. So, so if I click Alt F11, I just clicked Alt F11 and the Visual Basic Editor is not coming up. And I cannot get the developer ribbon back. It is gone for this particular instance because they checked the option to hide the developer ribbon. There's no way I can get it. I can't go to options. I can't get it. So you can try as you may. Please, please try to get it. Uh, please try to hack this. You will be unsuccessful and you will waste months of your life and you'll be very sad, sad face, right? So another thing you might notice is that this has a the icon, not the Excel, not the Microsoft Excel icon here. It has a special icon that they used for this particular project. So you can you can tell it which icon you want. You can have um, any of these things disabled that you want. Uh, entire ribbons. In fact, I always have all these options gone. You can disable copying and pasting using Control C, Control V, and as you as you've seen, I'm hitting Alt F11, and I cannot get the Visual Basic editor to to come up. So in the next lecture, we'll show you a little bit more about formula protection in the demo, and then we'll move on to getting our hands absolutely dirty together. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed that excerpt from our course, Excel to EXE, how to create secure uh, Excel applications uh, in Windows. If you're interested in just getting the software called XLS Padlock, please click the link in the video description. If you're interested in the full-length course where I show you the ins, outs, and all the tricks that I've learned over the years, uh, take a look at that as well in the video description. And hopefully I'll be able to flash that on the screen as well. Be sure and uh, subscribe to our free resources in the link as well. And subscribe and click like, comment, whatever, all that good stuff. And that really helps the channel out as well. Thanks for watching and God bless. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that excerpt. If you want to go ahead and grab the full course that shows you how all that works in XLS Padlock, a full, complete, I think it's eight hour uh, course with lots and lots of information, uh, click the link on your screen right now or check out the video description. Uh, if you want to jump the gun, think you can figure it out by yourself, and you don't want the full course, that's totally cool. But if you are going to go ahead and buy XLS Padlock, it would really help out the channel if you click the link in the video description to get XLS Padlock because uh, a portion of that uh, proceeds will go to the channel. If you want to learn a little bit more and explore some more videos on the topic for free, just click the link on your screen that should be right about now, and that will take you to the next video in this series. And uh, as always, thanks so much for watching. God bless.